Speaking of that question, this got me remind me of like stuff that Diara says on Twitter. Today I got time, cuz. What do you think about Network Plus and CCNA? God, I can't remember, but I think she said like, you know, it is beneficial if somebody would if they would have a Network Plus and then do CCNA. I think she said that. I don't want to misquote sure. her. And I think people started no, I bet, I bet she did. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. They they said like, oh, what are you paid by Contia? Are you so like every time she brings that up, I, I do like a hashtag Contia Cabal. <laughs> so um one thing I wanted to ask you, I was I have been thinking about the whole time is like I think you're one of the few guests I've had that mm-hmm. did networking and cyber. And I know it's a lot of cor- sure. you know, correlation in that Venn diagram that um sure. Honestly, when I when I really think about it, besides probably, you know, networking probably dealing with a little bit more numbers. Yeah. What's in your mind, since you did both, what's the biggest difference um between the two functions? Um hmm, that's actually a really good question. Um I mean, so when people are wanting to get into cyber, I always, and this is probably like a bias on my part, I always tell them that they need strong networking fundamentals. Um, Just because if you don't have a good grasp of how that works, like I'm not saying you need to like know how to configure BGP, but if you don't really understand layer two and layer three communication and uh, ports and protocols and, and how data communication happens and data flows, um, depending upon the role that you have in cybersecurity, your learning curve is going to be really, really steep. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can definitely still get in and be successful, but you're going to be going back and, and there's going to be a lot of, uh, I don't know, a lot of question marks that you're trying to figure things out. So I, I always try to steer people to be like, yeah, you want to make sure that you understand, you know, the, these kind of basic fundamentals of that before getting into it. Um, I would say there's also a lot of other overlap, um, not intentionally, but as a network engineer, a lot of times people blame the network for everything. (laughs) And so in order to prove that the network is not actually the problem, you normally have to learn quite a bit about systems and applications and things like that just to be able to do troubleshooting, to be like, look, (laughs) like the traffic is going back and forth. I even went in and had to dig into like the logs on this server to show like, yeah, you actually have all this other stuff going on and you might want to look at that. Uh, So in kind of getting uh, a little bit more experience in looking at applications and servers, um, I think that that kind of overlays a bit with cybersecurity because as a cybersecurity person, it's not like you're just protecting the network portion of things. That's a part of it, but you're also having to look at AppSec. You're also having to look at systems, operating systems, servers, um, things like that. So I, I think that there's definitely some some areas where the knowledge uh, overlaps. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I think it kind of marries itself well but then obviously you have your specialties in both right. careers that are you know completely divergent from kind of that center area of, of the venn diagram right so like somebody who's doing red teaming uh and specifically dealing with like maybe web app pen testing uh they have some knowledge of networking and stuff like that but really they're much more focused on back-end stuff and database stuff uh and vice versa, if you have somebody who's like, maybe they're a specialized in like a uh, data center or SAN network infrastructure, like, yes, they know some things about systems and, and things like that, but they aren't necessarily, you know, really getting too far outside of their area of expertise of, of that particular type of networking. Yeah, man, I definitely agree. I thought you was going to say one does subnet and the other one doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... I, I think everybody should know how to do subnetting, but that's, you know, that's just me. I should have told you to put uh, a graphic out that you made. <laughs> oh, man, I got a lot of those. <laughs> got a lot of infographics for the subnetting. Yeah, that just makes things quicker. I mean, obviously, there's calculators and all that type of stuff. Um, but, 
you know, it just okay. depends. But it's good. It's good knowledge to have. And the funny thing is, I I've told, told people this plenty of times that I felt that Network Plus was harder than Security Plus. Sure. I mean, especially depending upon like at, at what point, which one you took first. Um, I took Security Plus I first, but that... then went back was going through the Network Plus. So I was like, yeah, it's like I was, honestly, this is harder to me than Security I... is. I think the security plus there's kind of a lot of information that if you're in it and you use it systems, it's stuff that you might've seen or are familiar with. Right. Um, where the network plus just has stuff that like, if you've never done networking, um, like who cares about where the demarcation point is for circuits coming into a building? Like nobody, nobody knows that nobody knows, you know, like, um, the different cabling standards for for copper cables and stuff like that unless you've actually had to build them right and, and make them so but yeah there's definitely things that would be kind of uh foreign to to folks who if they haven't had to do that um you know it, it's just something completely brand new it would, it would make it you know more information that you need to learn when you're going through that process so brings that up i, I do like a hashtag comp tia cabal <laughs> like it's just a group of us that are like you know trying to push people towards the net plus um no i think there's there's definite benefit in there so like way back in the day when i like uh, was taking mine so like 2005 2006 uh the, CC, the ccna actually was broken up into two different tests they kind of had like uh, a networking intro book and then they had an interconnecting cisco network devices book and you could either take the ccna as one overall test, or you could do the intro test, and then you could do the second test. And that intro test pretty much was all of the stuff that you would find in the Network Plus. So I think that depending upon like what a person wants to do and what what their their goals are, um, you know, the Network Plus definitely is is a great place to to start off. Um, also, depending upon what career field you're in, so if you are uh, in the DOD or something like that, you have the 8570 requirements for different types of certifications to even be able to get on a contract. Um, you know, Net Plus or Security Plus actually will be uh, one of those certs that will let you get one of those lower uh, lower level jobs or entry level jobs uh, where like the CCNA is just a harder exam. It just is like you're going to have to learn stuff about different types of routing protocols and how to configure them. Um, and access control lists and different things that if you're not actually going to be configuring Cisco devices, it, it really probably isn't applicable to the, the type of knowledge that you want to be focusing on. I should, well, I should.